Hello family, welcome to my channel. This is Anthony and I'm here with the Michaels Hall. Excuse the noise in the background. I am washing clothes <clears throat> and running the dryer. So I apologize in advance for the noise. Let me drink some tea here. It is early in the morning. So hopefully I'm not waking up the household as well. But I needed to get this video done. These items I picked up at Michael's on... When did I go? Where's the date? When did I go to Michael's? Hmm. I know there's a date on this receipt somewhere. That's crazy. I don't see a date. I'm probably looking right at it. Hmm. Well, it's been a couple days. Let me see. What day was that? Today is Saturday morning. When did I go? Wednesday? Oh, here's the date. On the 29th. What was the 29th? I don't know. One day this week I went. So anyway, I want to jump on and share with you what I picked up. I picked up seven paper pads. I've been on the hunt for the new paper pads, and I had went to a Dollar Tree, uh, not Dollar Tree, but Michael's that was about 45 minutes away from my home. I had no luck. So I went to the Dollar Tree that's about 15, 20 minutes away, and I found some. Finally, they put out some new ones. They've rearranged our Michaels, so I thought I was out of luck again because all I had seen was the old ones close to the area where they kept them before. But then on my way out leaving, they have an aisle where they had all the like sale items that were in the weekly ad there. So that's where I will start looking when I'm going for, you know, particular sale items. I'll go to that spot first because I believe that's going to be their go-to spot to put the sale items. So anyways, let's get started. I picked up this paper pad and I did use, um, split this up in two transactions to use coupons and I was trying to match, uh, not match, well, use some Joanne coupons with what I have. So anyway, I picked up this one which is called Mariska. Really pretty bold colors by Recollections. I'll try to show some of the prints. Pretty cutouts. I was really getting bored with the papers that I have, so I needed to get some more paper pads. It's my craft sale season, and I've really been wanting to use my paper to make some card sets and different giftable items for the craft fairs this year. I'm in two right now. That's probably all I'm going to do. I was late getting signed up because I thought I was going to have surgery on my foot and I never did so I missed the sign up dates on some of those so anyway there's that one and then I got this beautiful autumn dream and I did pay different prices for these hot buys three of them I paid the full six dollars for and then on the other receipt I paid 450 
for four of them. And that was because the cashier ended up using a 25% off coupon um, because she couldn't get one of the Joanne coupons to work right or something. So she had applied the 40%, I mean the 25% to this coupon. Plus I did receive 40% off of one item. So anyway, this is the beautiful Autumn Dream, also by Recollections. And I'm so excited about fall. I love fall. I love to decorate my home for fall. So yeah, I'm ready. I need to start pulling out all my stuff. So I can get it up and enjoy it. The only thing is, you know, you've got Halloween in there. And I love decorating for Halloween too. But last year I didn't do too much. I've started like pulling away from decorating at Halloween time. I mean, my kids are getting older, but I do enjoy it. I may just put some things down here in my craft space and just decorate upstairs for fall. We'll see. Sometimes I just do the bathroom for Halloween. Okay, this next one is Pumpkin and Spice. I think this is one of my favorites because it has a lot of the uh, fall colors that I like to decorate in. I love the teal colored blue with the brown and the orange. really cute cut aparts for journals or um, scrapbooking or card making. I want to get some fall journals made, some gratitude journals. So I got to get busy. It takes me a while on these books. I'm working on a Halloween book right now for a swap that I've entered and I'm I'm almost finished with that. I will be finished with that this weekend because I need to get it in the mail. <clears throat> and then I have a fairy journal that I have finished. I just want to uh, mod podge the cover and that one will be done. I'll be ready to show you that one and I'm going to put that one in my, my Etsy shop. This one here is Pumpkin Spice, and it's just the solid, solid colors for backgrounds or blank cards, bases or whatever. Really, really pretty fall colors. And then this next fall one is fall embossed is what it's called and it's beautiful all the pages are embossed I don't know if you can see them see the embossing but it's really pretty some have fall words some have leaves some have pumpkins some have like a leaf and a design. This one has acorns with like a leaf design. This one has fall words. This one has the tree, the tree trunks, leaves, some more pumpkins. So really pretty. This next one I picked up is in the kitchen love this one. I think I'm going to use these papers for the um, recipe keeper or junk journal type things I want to make or just like a recipe uh, kitchen themed junk journal where you can journal recipes or just you know anything really but I want to do 
like a kitchen theme and use some of those uh, cookbooks that I picked up from the flea market that were from the 50s, 1950s. I want to incorporate those with this paper. And then the last one I picked up is called Sweet Blooms. And this is actually the only one that I had picked up at first that I found with the old Hot Buy papers that was new to me that I did not have. So I had got that one and was kind of disappointed. And then I ran into all those other ones. Pretty navy blues with gold and like a coral peach color. And there's an off-white. Very pretty. That's like a pink and white. Navy blue with gold foil. So yes, I'm excited about this paper. Finally got me some new paper. Okay, so like I said, $4.50 is what I paid for four of them. And six dollars for the other two and then I picked up these recollections paper flowers these little mini ones I want to do some crafts with that and these were I think these were 40% off let me see yes these I got 40% off so they were originally $4.99. I ended up paying $2.99 for these. And you get 120 little flowers in there. Okay, the Zots were on sale. So I did pick up the medium, the medium Zots. And these were on sale for $3.33. And the original price is $4.99 on those. And you get 300 dots. They're clear adhesive dots. And then, of course, a repurchase. And I just picked these up when I did my last Michaels haul, but I picked up more. I got another package of the adhesive tape, the Recollections double sided adhesive tape. And this I got for. She took 40% off of this one. So I paid $1.79 on that. And then I picked up another aqua liquid mono aqua tombow mono liquid glue. I love this glue and I've already almost went through that other bottle already just on gluing my pages together in the Halloween journal and adding the paper to it and decorating. So I needed another one of those. And that I got 25% off. So that was $2.24. And then the last two items were some of the rhinestones from out of the $1.50 bin. I picked up this beautiful light blue color. I don't have that color in my stash. So I got that. And then I picked up this light light brown very pretty as well and those were a dollar fifty so nothing extra came off of that so actually I did pretty well both transactions were around the same one was twenty six forty one and the other one was twenty what is that twenty five sixty six so yeah on one I saved $63.91 and the other one I saved $45.63 so <clears throat> I get that paper when it's on the hot buy. I usually do not buy it unless it's on the hot buy if it's one that I know I need to get right away that's I might miss out on I will pay the $12, the $11.99 for it with the 40% off. So, yeah, that's my haul. Thank you all for stopping by. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. 
and the little bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Until the next one, God bless. Oh, and everyone have a very safe and fun Labor Day. So, bye-bye.